I grew up on this street in Thatcher's England, and as a boy I quickly learned that I had to be able to punch hard, talk fast or play football if I was going to fit in. When I moved to Australia a few years ago, I relied on what I knew best and joined my own kind, the local Pommy soccer club. Pommy clubs, like WOG clubs, have the reputation, but the rampant racism in the amateur league was shocking. The next season I scanned the amateur league forum for a new team. And that's where I came across the Punjab Lions. Pele called soccer the beautiful game, but I kept coming up against the ugly face of racism. I played a fair bit of football, and football has propped up so many relationships and, and friendships that I've had over the years. I still held on to hopes of tolerance, integration, acceptance and belonging. I wanted for my children to grow up around different language and cultural groups and to start to grasp concepts of equality and diversity and for them to be amongst other chocolate people like their dad. to look at me you'd be forgiven for thinking this was my tribe but that would be to ignore my experiences of growing up in England in a Gujarati Muslim neighbourhood I don't share the language, religion or culture of the Punjab lions but you wouldn't know that until I spoke I've lived a lot of my life on the edges of tribes being English, Indian, Muslim but somehow none of them completely. People can define themselves through their tribe, but I'm increasingly finding that tribes can be equally divisive. The membership of my life, or my tribe, are a diverse range of people that have inspired me and informed the way that I make meaning of my world. These figures span history, race, gender, class and religion and I carry them around with me and when I meet people, they meet people. <laughs>